So let's talk about variables. If you are new to programming in general, you might not really know what a variable is. If you already are programming in another uh, language, you are probably familiar with this term. But it doesn't hurt to go over this concept again anyway. Basically, a variable is just like a variable in a math equation. It's the same thing. If you are familiar with algebra, then you already know essentially what a variable is. And you can see here, I have got an example of 1 plus 3 equals 4. There is no variable in there, but if we said 1 plus x, then it's going to be equal to something unknown. It depends on what x is. Same thing in a programming language. And if you think about it, really, if we didn't have variables in a programming language, some way to vary the input or what, what was stored, programs would be interactive because they would perform, perform the same thing every time. There would be no interaction from the user. So really when you think about it, a variable, the concept of a variable is allowing us to have something be changing in our program. And that is really what makes a program interactive. That's at the higher level. Now at the low level, what is a variable? What does a variable do in our code? It is basically a way that we can store some data in our program. So we can store a number in a variable, we can store a word in a variable, we have a whole bunch of things that we can store inside of variables in Java. And when we get into classes and objects later, you will see that those are also going to be stored in a variable because they can change. And that's kind of the key to a variable as it's a way of naming something that can change. And really the best way to understand it is just to think about it in terms of algebra. It's the same type of thing. And we will go into an example of using variables in a little bit here. 